is up guys welcome to a brand new video of this preseason flex queue thing i guess uh some of you guys are a little bit confused about what this series is now and like fair enough like it is a bit, a bit confusing it's just because i can't continue my unranked to diamond at the moment because the new flex queue thing has come out so um i'm having to kind of like start over i guess again because i'm playing on the same account but like i have to play a new queue right so today we're actually trying a new Ezreal build that somebody uh, tweeted at me. I'd kind of like wondered about it, but somebody tweeted me and said, have you tried this yet? And I was like, no, I haven't actually. But this seems really, really cool. So we're going to try that uh, new Ezreal build out. Hopefully it works out. We'll have to see. There are loads of different things that I really want to try. So if you guys have any suggestions, just definitely leave them in the comments and I'll have a look and see what I can play. But we're definitely like moving away from a little bit of assassins because they're all banned and then moving into like, you know, uh, moving into a bit more tanky meta in general, I guess. But anyway, so Ezreal Janna, I am with the Janna. It does kind of tilt me, but at the same time, Ezreal is a sit back champion anyway. So like, what is, what can really go wrong, you know? Wow, Azir. All right. That's, Fizz is really good against Azir, I think personally. So I wouldn't have chosen that, but. That slightly makes me feel slightly better. I hope he takes that. But anyway, Ezreal Janna, like Janna, Ezreal was always a, a fire back champion anyway. So to be honest, like I don't really, oh God, here we go. This is every single game. They play smart and they pick tanks and my team just think, oh, I want to play the OP. So we pick like damage, like whatever. Anyway, I'm still going to be able to carry hopefully. But yeah, oh, 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 I need to change it. I need to change this because this is part of it. This is part of it. It's the Green Father's Gift. So basically... Uh, Alain's pretty safe anyway, and I don't feel like having an aggressive support really does too much. I Like, it does, but I can live with Janna in this lane. I'm going to explain the whole build and stuff as we actually get into the game, because I don't want to explain it now and then explain it again, so you guys have to hear it twice. Like, I don't really want to do that for you, so we're going to try and not do that. But mid lane, uh, Victor Fizz, I guess. I think Fizz is one of the best assassins, actually, post-rework. Like, he didn't get massive, massive changes. Like, there weren't a load of them, but the changes he got were quite big. I think, personally, kind of went under the radar a bit. And he's actually very strong right now. Um, the Olaf versus Rengar. Rengar is actually very strong as a jungler. And I'd probably rate him a bit higher than Olaf. But at the same time, we don't have a tank on this team. So we might struggle a little bit. Maokai, I think, is actually probably the best top laner. I would... I, I think with... Oh, he's gone the wrong mastery, though. That's good. Um, like, with the Colossus Keystone, I genuinely think Maokai is probably the best tank you can play at the moment. It's just really, really good. And Trindamir is probably not as great. But if Trindamir gets a lead early, he can punish Maokai. But, like, the thing is, if Maokai just gets... He does damage earlier. I think I feel like it's going to be hard for Trindamir to do too much. Especially when Maokai is going to stack armor anyway. So, actually, our team is okay. But their team is much more well-rounded. They have a late-game carry with Caitlyn and with Fizz. They have a Lulu to buff the Kate as well and protect. And they also have a massive front line with Olaf and Maokai. So, their team is, like, very consistent. Whereas our team is more, like... I guess Trindamir is going to split push. Uh, I have 4v4 is pretty decent though, like Rengar jumps in and kills somebody, Victor has a lot of damage, I have a lot of damage, especially with this build I'm going to try as well, and Janna can protect us all, I guess, from the Maokai or the Fizz jumping on me, hopefully, and it might work out, it might not, teams are pretty whatever, but at the same time, like, you know, this is the flex queue, so you don't even know what it's actually going to be like like actually what i might do right now is i might look myself up and look this game up because someone said to me before like can you tell us what the elos are of the people we're playing because it's just really like you, you don't know if it's going to be good or bad right um so apparently let me just move this over a little bit apparently uh trinimer is bronze <laughs> Tri <sighs> Man, uh, my confidence is just like what is this right matchmaking, man? What is this right matchmaking? I'm going to say it when everybody's here because everybody's going to want to know this. I mean, he hasn't connected yet. Maybe we... Oh, no, he's, he's connected now. Um, it's all right. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. We just have to put our carry pants on, right? Let's just have a little <laughs> stretch. <laughs> that will be good. <laughs> but, uh, oh God, can you just get into the game? Because I really want to talk about, like, the build and everything, but... I just basically rambled at you guys for five minutes because I don't want to tell you too much before we get into the game because everyone's going to want to hear this stuff. Oh, man. But basically, it looks like there's a plat on each team, there's some gold, and then there's a silver and a bronze. So, awesome, right? Good job, right? I don't understand that, to be honest. I, I, I know that it's a soft reset and everything because of Flex, but why not just, like, soft reset it based on your end of season rank? Like... 
I, I don't feel like that's particularly fair. But he's bronze three at least. He's not bronze five. It could be worse. It could be worse. And like, I'm not trying to bash bronze players, by the way, either. Like, I just, I'm not trying to bash bronze players. But when you put a bronze with someone who is much higher ranking, it's, it's one of those weird things where it just doesn't seem fair, right? It's not fair on him to have to play people who in theory are better than him or just invested more time into the game, like more games and stuff and climbed. And it's not really fair on the players. If he turns out to be like genuinely a bronze and like new to the game and stuff, for someone else to just have to, you know, for someone else to crap on him or just to be sided by like one of their players. I don't know. If you put loads, whenever you put a, a variety of skill levels together, it should it shouldn't be fair like that's just the game like it it doesn't work like that will this guy please load into the game though because i'm running out of stuff to say i'm digging myself a hole bronze players i love you if you're silver bronze gold i, I don't mind thank you finally i'll stop digging okay so welcome to everybody else that was actually really long loading and stuff um so there's a couple of things to say very quickly we're going to play a new ezreal build that i've someone told me about on twitter actually and i haven't tried it but i wanted to try it um, it makes a lot of sense and it's something theory wise that makes actually a good sense because apparently your Q does apply the dust blade um, So you know how dust blade has this true damage part on it, right this uh, 50 plus 200 percent lethality thing well actually like it does uh, proc on your Q apparently and I have this green father's gift as well Which means when I come out of a bush here I have this extra bonus damage on my next auto which also applies on my Q so I can duck into a bush I get dust blade I get um green father's gift plus I get everything else it just makes my Q really 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 hurt in um the lane phase and I should be able to snowball with it pretty decently hopefully that's the way this works anyway and also this is flex Q a lot of you guys have been asking me uh what the rankings are because it seems to have reset so just so you guys know if you want me to do this in future let me know. I'll have it up for every game and I can tell you in future. But um, Trindamir is. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we have to go up here. Trindamir is bronze three. Um, Victor's gold five. I'm obviously plat three. Uh, Rengar's gold five. Janna's gold five. Go. Fizz is gold five. Maokai's gold five. Lulu is plat five. Olaf is gold two. And bronze. Uh, sorry. And Caitlyn is silver five. So that is a bit of a mix. A bit of a mix. I have no idea what that is even, like, why and stuff. But, um, yeah, who knows, I guess, right? Oh, if you'd smite that and I stole it, I would have laughed so hard. But, yeah, so that's the uh, the elo bracket of the game, which is pretty random. Pretty random. But, anyway, uh, one other thing, before I go into, like, what build I'm going to run, um, like, fully and stuff, I just wanted to say, if you guys have any suggestions on picks or on builds and stuff for the preseason, let me know in the comments because I am watching, like, reading them. Watching them? I am reading them and I am trying to like, you know, I want to test stuff out like this build that I have. If it's legit, by the way, I'm not going to troll, but it's something that I legit feel like is good. Then I will give it a go in these games and also say thank you at the start of the video. So let me know if you have anything that you want me to try. But yeah, so this build um, is going to be going probably, well, I definitely have a tier in it still because it's the man immune part that's going to really, really hurt. This is kind of like an assassin-ish uh, Ezreal build, which is kind of weird and apparently works at the same time. But yeah, so the main components of this would be the tier, it would be the sheen, and then Dustblade. I don't really know at this point whether I want to go, like, man immune into Dustblade. It was delayed a little bit, but it would obviously, I don't know, it would do better, I guess, a little bit. So if I come out and I auto out here, that does an extra little bit of damage because of the Green Father's Gift. So that's the kind of general idea. When I have Dustblade especially, I go in, I get the true damage, I go in here, I get the green father's gift, and now if I go out again and I just auto attack her, oh, that's a bit aggressive, I didn't mean to walk that cl close, I missed can as well. Yo, it's because of this tornado, honestly, I know it sounds really, really stupid, but the tornado's up in the air, and so I'm missing, because I'm just misclicking her when she's up in the air like that. Janna, what are you? Wait. Janna, Janna, please, Janna, mercy, mercy. I've got further stacking here. I'm already on three stacks, so... Let's see if I can cheese her. Okay, I got a heal, though. I got a heal, though. Yeah, nice. This is stacking further, by the way. This is another reason why I think Ezreal is actually going to be better uh, right now. Because you can stack the further up, and it's going to apply... Like, I know it applied before, right? So it's still good, but... Um, 
the your aid your, your Q is an AD scaling, right? So further actually is not wasted. Oh, she's pretty screwed now. Okay, never mind. At least she's gonna miss all of this farm though. We would have Dover, so it's it's fun. It's good of her to like leave like that. It was good of her to leave like that. Oh, she actually didn't miss all of that, but we'll still push this in, I think. Um, yeah, so like there's actually a lot of different things that make I think Ezreal will work at the moment. Fervor is a good thing. Triforce, I feel like, will be a little bit better, especially as a carry build right now. And that's the build where we would go. So, I like, three item build at the moment would be Man Immune. Hey, I got the can. Look at that. Would be Man Immune, Dust Blade, and Triforce. Like, the, uh, the poke on that would be ridiculous. Oh, boy, that's not good. See, this is a problem. Like, Maokai... I know everybody wants to play... Uh, damage stuff right now in the preseason, but like tanks are so free, it makes no sense. Like, you know, if tanks are so good right now, why not just play tanks, you know? Or at least like have a little bit of we've got damage in the jungle, we've got a damage top, so one of you guys are gonna have to go tank, right? That's the general gist of I think how it should go, even if it's not quite they are walking into every single one of them. That's the general idea I feel like of how it should go. So just bear in that mind your games. If you don't want to do it, it's preseason. Don't like, you know, it's not the end of the world. At the end of the day, you're supposed to have fun with this game. But competition-wise, if you're playing seriously, at least one tank in the in the jungle or top lane, I feel like is much, much, much better than just having none. Especially because Maokai now, if he get Maokai is probably like, in my opinion, Maokai might even be ban worthy. I know that sounds really stupid, right? But in my opinion, he might actually be ban worthy. I want 1850 gold. By the way, I'm trying to greed because they're very weak, so. I'm not actually losing anything by standing here, staying here anymore. I'm actually going to let this push out a little bit because what I want to do is I want them to push. I would then want them to base and then I can push this in, make them miss a wave and I can base afterwards. So I can actually let them push now. Janet's Tornado screwed that a little, but not really. So hopefully Caitlyn decides not to take any more and she just leaves now. But I think she might actually stay. She's, she's putting herself in... Why? Why take my... Yo, don't go. Please don't go. I'm always worried, worried about that because, like, they're just going to base. And, yeah, I'm going to need her to help me push this. Yo, don't base. Don't. Holy... Why? We had complete lane control there, and she just based. Why? What the? Fuck? All right. Well, okay. So let me just say that that was probably a mistake. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> that was probably not something that I would recommend doing. But at least Caitlyn's gonna base now, so um, we get a full push on. Uh, she is actually back now, at least, which is a nice thing. But I feel like uh, we probably should have stayed and pressured. Because the thing is, when they're that close to your tower, right, they have a really long lane to run back to. So if we're going to fight, like, that is a perfect time to fight. I wasn't just getting it so that I could bounce this back. Oh, okay, she's actually going to run. Yo, ja you're a Janna, my friend. You don't... Okay, warding is fine, but, like, I'm going to base now. And she should probably realize that. So, what timing-wise, it's just not clever. But, never mind, that's cool. Okay, so we get this into tower just. It's actually going to sit just outside of tower, but at least the cannon's going to die. So... It's not as good of a push as I, as I should have like got, but it was not not bad necessarily. So we have our perfect base as Ezreal. You guys know that I have a complete and utter hard on for Tyr and uh, Sheen. I don't know why I say this. You know, I'm getting considerably more tweets and Snapchats and everything. By the way, if you haven't added me on, if you don't follow me on Twitter or Snapchat, links are down below. Well, my Snapchat one isn't, but it's just Philo. And uh, yeah, don't make sure you add me on them and stuff. Like, I'm getting so many more messages though saying. Um, Um, saying like your choice of words is ridiculous and stuff, which is kind of true, you know. It is. I'm an idiot, and I say stuff like, yeah, like sucking balls and loving balls and whatever else. I should really watch out for that. But anyway, this is like the perfect uh, base for us at the moment. Um, we get sheen damage, which is perfect. Now the choice is like we could go into dust play quite easily, but we probably want a man immune first because the way this game is going, I really need my uh. I really do need my 
you might have transformed as soon as possible this game if i can't get it transformed there's like it's going to be much 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 harder for me to carry this game so i probably am going to have to like like sit thinking seriously about this game that like, obviously i want to win um if i want to win this i probably should need to get that for now at least oh my god i missed the cannon oh my god i missed that one too and that one oh i just missed that four in a row i'm tilted why did i do that why, why, why did I do Yo, are you crazy? That was a big misplay from these guys, but he still has fish, I think, so I can't go too deep here. If I go too deep, he's going to kill me, so. I should have probably should have gone on the Olaf there, I think. Probably should have gone on the Olaf. I was too worried about the Fizz diving further, so I thought if I focused him, like that wouldn't really be be too bad. Oh my god! All right, well that works, I guess. All right, well that definitely works then, I guess. Maybe I can get a triple here because I do have Jana, so she still has a net. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. And I have full mini wave now. I'm not going to take this. Uh, I could take it and I could win that maybe, but the problem is if anyone else comes along here, so if Olaf runs at me, for example, I'm actually dead. Because I'll be tanking so many minions here, it's just really, really not that worth. But I do have a lot, a lot of damage. Fuck. If I'd hit that Q, I would have flashed for the auto and I would have got that. That's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. But we did get the, the pressure there. Again, greedy eing in, because if Olaf was here, I could have just died. And, like, I don't think that's that obvious. Like, that's unreasonable for Olaf to come back bot if I'm pressuring that hard, you know? But we managed to pick up on their mistakes, which is good. This is one of the easiest ways of, like, playing. When you're against, like, lower-ranked players, which you're probably all going to be in, like, flex and stuff for a while, the easiest thing you can do is just make sure you capitalize on every mistake they make. In general, that is legit the easiest way of playing the game. Like, it doesn't require you to do anything fancy. You don't have to pressure too hard. Like, I have a good, healthy 25 CS lead here. Just because I'm CSing better, even though I'm a monkey. I don't know how that's happening, but I'm actually CSing better. Um, so, I just get a CS lead. I, like, capitalize on their mistakes, I guess. And then... Like, this is the easiest way of playing the game. Easiest way. Ask, like, how the hell does that happen? Okay. Yeah, all right. Um... Like, the funny thing is that whenever, if you ask anyone, like, when they smurf and stuff, right? Um, like, obviously, this series is a bit different because I'm doing it to teach you guys. So, I'm trying to talk at the same time. And I'm playing loads of different champions and stuff. But most people will tell you, like, diamond players will tell you that you can easily get out of gold by just, like, CSing much better than your opponent and then playing better in team fights. Like, it's not the main thing. You don't even have to, like, abuse them in the lane phase that much. Like, obviously, it's easier, but... You can just farm and it'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to thin the wave out now. And I'm going to then try and pressure because I'm very strong right now. Uh, that doesn't really do much damage anymore, to be honest. She should probably save that from like when we're actually going to fight. Because the disable is really, really good. Oh, there's a trap in there. I did not see that. Yeah, Caitlyn is like walking into every single one of my cues. That's kind of nice. Okay. Where's the fizz? Where's the fizz? Oh, he's doing dragon. That's only cloud drag. I don't even mind. That's fine. He could hop over the wall, by the way, and come down here. So I'm just a little bit worried about that. Just bearing in mind where he could be. Yeah, well, well let's see, I guess. So there is that. But I am way stronger than these guys. So as soon as I see fizz, I can go more aggressive. I'd really rather she did that when she was going to hit it in a fight. Because, like, disabling like that is so good. Like, she disables, I line up my ult or something, right? Maybe I can do it outside of a fight, but doing it like that is... That's kind of one of her biggest combat spells, you know? Like... Oh, is that the Victorious Ward? Disabling like that is one of her biggest combat things apart from her shield, so... If she uses it, she doesn't have anyone else to use it on. He's not even taking my advice and going Abyssal, unless he's going for the that part first, which is kind of stupid, I guess. Nice, good job, Rengar. Oh, I missed there. 
I am starting to pressure really hard though because I think I can kill it. And also because my team's like not doing very well. I feel like I need to, you know? I need to pressure harder. Alright, I'm just gonna back off with the ult. No reason to fight anymore to be honest because I got that. So that's just a free trade for a little bit of my mana. And this is like... Fuck. I, she was here and she was casting a Q. If I was a bit quick on that, I could have got a, a free ult. Excuse my language, sorry. I don't know what's going on this week today. But if I could have got a free ult off that, I think. If I'd have played that a bit smart. Maybe she's an AD main. Because she's CS'd a couple of times like that. Where it's like prepped and then she just finishes it off. I don't know. I do not know. Whoopsie daisy. We should take the tower here. Uh, Lulu can't do too much. Yeah, I want the tower, not her. What the fuck? Hello? What's she doing? I picked the tower, not Lulu. What in the world? Yeah, nice, Victor. Good job, my friend. Okay. Well, that was a little bit different. That's not quite what I had in mind when I pinged the tower there. But it's, you know... <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> That's alright. We can deal with that. No no problem, Janna. No problem. No problem. This guy is so beefy, man. I'm just going to find my key for now, I think. Uh, Lulu will have her ult back up soon, most likely. I don't know the cooldown on it. So whenever you don't know the cooldown on the spell, like, properly, um, then... Like, two minutes is a safe assumption because that's a very long cooldown. No, nah, sorry, a uh, minute and a half. 180 seconds is a good... Wait, no, that's three minutes. Holy... Fuck, I'm an idiot. 90 seconds. Oh, my God. I was talking about summoners because I'm stupid. Um, that's a good assumption to make, really. That it's a minute and a half. Like, a minute and a half is just... Oh, we're going for this? All right. Oh, my God. He used it on the tower, though. Why? Alright, nice. Good job. Good roam, Victor. Good job. So he's 0 and 4, and now he's just 4 and 4. Like, oh my word, what is going on this game? And we get Tower 2. That's perfect. Yeah, just assume it's... Assume it's 90 seconds. That's a very safe assumption to make. Oh, that was, that was horrifying. That was so long, man. Oh, he actually... Even though... I, wait, even though I got, that's so weird. I killed him as he was coming towards me, but the Q still hit me. That's very strange. I wonder if that's, I'm, I'm guessing that's intended, but. Yeah, very strange, who knows. Okay, so we're actually going for a dust part now. Wait, why is that not transformed? Wait, what? I got no mana on it. Wait, what? Okay, it was bug when I'm dead. Oh man, that was that one killed me. Uh, that was a look of horror right there. You can oh, you can go back. I'm gonna watch that when I go back. I'm gonna watch that look of horror on my face. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> I would have thought if I'd have killed him as he dived towards me, I uh, cancelled the damage. That was why I stayed and I like, just queued him. But um, yeah, apparently it doesn't work like that. But anyway, so we're now going for the dust blade. I haven't really used the Green Father's gift as much as I probably should have this game. So, because I need to duck into a bush and then pop out and use it again. But this is going to be really good with Dust Blade. And this is what I will try and do more than anything else. I mean, I actually don't mind taking some CS, you know. It's not that big of a deal. But, like, I just don't know why. I don't know why she's doing that. Maybe she just doesn't trust me. Maybe she watches my videos and knows that I CS really badly. So, she's just going to take them because I'm probably going to miss them anyway. Maybe that's, maybe that's it. One problem is going to be this uh, Maokai though. So going this build is like very good against squishy targets. But oh, oh, nice. That was sick. That was a good use of plants right there. Um, yeah, it's going to be really good against squishies. But like, by the way, I don't know where Lulu is. But like, if, if she's going to overextend like that, then I think I've got this. Maybe. Oh my god. I got it. Yo, don't ping me, Rengar, you penis. I flat he pinged me because I missed my old. You see that? But then as soon as I like hit him again, it, it works perfectly. But yeah, so we're packing as much damage into our queue with this build as we can. Uh, we've got the Green Father's Gift as well as the Dust Blade 
true damage. Plus, we actually have uh, the Triforce gives 200% spell blade or whatever it is uh, on the AD, 200% AD. So, um, it's like Sheen is more damage with a Q because it, the, the, it's just like within the Triforce. Sorry. Oh man, no. Thank you. I'm actually going to get this and run away. <laughs> That's really BM right there. Oh fuck, if I die. If I die for that. Please don't die. Why is he still going on the Janna? No, Janna, you f- oh, the ult. That ult pushed him into me. And now I'm dead. All right, well, I died to the Fizz anyway, but that was just like, you absolute penis. That would be why I need a uh, thing, by the way. Boots, that would be good. Okay, so he's dead. Rengar doesn't die. Perfect. Good. Not most terrible. Go on. Oh, your, your camouflage. He can see you. Rengar, he can see you. He's going to be able to see. Oh, I've seen so many people who don't realize this now. Rengar, when you're near someone. When you're near someone, it works like Evelyn, Evelyn's self now. You can be seen. Like, you're not invisible. You are camouflaged. So that means if you are near someone. And, uh, all right. You know what? I'm getting this. If, uh, yeah, if you're near someone, then it will. Oh, fuck, he was there. If you're near someone, he can't see you. I see so many people run up through a team, and they're just like, oh, nobody can see me. And then everybody crowd controls me, he dies. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Tilts me. But this is good. That didn't happen today. All right, I'm running back bot lane. I don't want to give her a tower for free because. Trading is like the worst thing you can actually do when you're even in a game. When you're doing fine, you don't want to trade stuff. You don't want to trade tower for tower. You don't want to trade kill for kill. Like, you need to be extending your gold lead while not, you know, having anything else. So, okay, I wasn't testing for uh, Yeah, so don't trade towers. Don't give them gold for free, basically. Oh, my word. That was not the best that's happened right now. Uh, I actually don't have my ult, though, because I tried to get the Lulu from really far range. And there's too many... I can't auto attack her though. That's the worst part. If I auto her, all of these minions actually go on me right now. And they try and fight me. Uh, I hope she knows that because I'm three levels above her. So I think she should probably not be sitting there right now. But yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway. So what I would do is I'll duck in here, right? Get my green father's gift eventually. I have my dust blade thing here. Get my green father's gift when it comes out. Now I've got dust bait as well. So now I'm going to go in. See the extra damage with that? I didn't even hit a Q there. That's the that's the part of this build. It's like an assassin -y build. That's why it's so good, by the way. But you don't obviously have to jump in. That was just like to demonstrate it. If I got this earlier into the game as well, so I skipped the mana moon. If the game wasn't going so badly, I could have just straight up uh, dust blade after the sheen or just after the tier. And that's like, that's a decent amount of damage. Like this does about 100 true da 80 true damage, which is kind of ridiculous. Plus I think Edge of Night is a pretty decent item. So you could get Edge of Night on this guy as well. Uh, it's like your defensive MR spell. Yo, don't run there. Yeah, that was obvious. I've got loads of further stacking at the moment. So why doesn't he ult? Holy, that took him a long time to ult there. We don't really want to go in now. This way. Yo, that doesn't heal him with no minions around, right? Or does it? Wait, what? Oh, Malkai's here. I don't know about this. Victor is coming, though. Why does he go for the Janna every time? That's so strange. He literally dives in on the Janna every single time. Okay, this is absolute cluster. Like... I feel like we can still win this. I don't know. I still want to go on this. But Maokai is just a massive super tank for now. Victor has ult. Like... Uh, and like with the ult on the Maokai, we can definitely kill him. But holy crap, he has so much armor right now. And like I've gone for just like squishy kill potential. I haven't gone for let's kill the Maokai potential. So, I guess what I'm going to need to do is build a Last Whisper, like, right now, which absolutely sucks for... Oh, shit. That's too late. Okay, he should be dead, though, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't do that now. Alright. 
Oh, he's gonna go in, I guess. Oh, he should get that as well, actually. Oh, he messed that up. Don't even... Oh, he messed it up again. Oh, this is so bad to watch, man. Oh my god, stop using your Q for move speed. Use it for damage. Oh my word. How you got a triple kill? Rengar is so broken, man. If you can get a triple kill by doing that, like, you deserve a medal. <laughs> okay, right. So, uh, let's get these. This build, like, I do have lethality on Dustbay, which is nice. So that's going to help a little bit as Maokai, because he's already level 15, so I'm already getting like a decent chunk of this 20, 15 lethality, but it's not ideal, I guess. Last Whisper should help a little bit. Once I get my thingy transformed, that'll be perfect, which I'm not too far away from either. If I can maybe get there and save this, that'll be great. 200 health, I could probably save this, I think. Um, yeah, so hopefully... I want to push like one more maybe, just get it. So what I could do really here is slow push it, which means don't touch this wave and just lose the CS. Uh, it would slow push in and it means that like it would take about two, uh, probably a minute and a half to two minutes to reach the here. And that means at that point, someone would off from the enemy team would have to go and deal with it. Right now, this is going to hard push in, so it would only take about a minute if, if that. Um, and like they have time for them to just go like insta clear like now, right? Whereas if that wasn't there already, he might not go there and clear it. Then it builds up to be a bigger wave. And when he goes and clears it, we can abuse the mid. That's kind of like how wave control in a nutshell works, I guess. I don't know. But I don't think we can really, like, you know. If you're playing with better players, you 100% can abuse that. But with with ones who don't understand wave clear, it's very hard to explain in, like, a, you know, in just this kind of format. What is she doing? She's trying to flank with Lulu? Oh my word. We should really go on that guy there. Oh no, Malko's there. We should really leave now. We can't kill him. We can't kill the Malko like at all. I'm gonna heal him. But like, yeah, we can't kill that guy. Maybe eventually. We got like, further and stuff. I guess what we can do is ignore him, though. Like, he's running away, so if he runs away, we can do it. Why did I have to go there? I don't actually want him to find out, to be honest. This is the only thing with him, is like, he should be going on me every single fight and zoning me out. Uh, but he actually just ran away there. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, either he peels or he just zones me. But, like, nobody can kill this guy. Rengar is so broken this patch, though. What I really need to cut his healing is the upgrade last whisper. The what is it? The mortal reminder or whatever. Yeah, can you see that healing there? Like he healed twice in that fight. That's not cool, you know. That's what I want to cut from the mortal reminder when I get it finally. But Rengar is just like he's only got. Look at his items. A warrior and look at a spectre. Oh shh. Feels bad, man. That exhaust was nice and late though as well. Kill me. Alright. Uh I deserved that though to be fair. Um Yeah, rip. Uh so yeah, the I can't remember the same now because I got absolutely read. Oh yeah, so he's got like basically no AD or arm pen or anything, he's got a visage and he's still killing everybody. Like, that's not how it's supposed to work. Your Q is just so much damage on it base now, it's crazy. So, uh, we're actually going to finally get Triforce. Like, ugh, I hate this because Triforce is such a core item on everyone. I've got it like fourth item. It's so bad. But in a normal game, I don't think this would like be as bad as this. Like, I have two tanks on the enemy team who are very fed. In hindsight, getting Dust Babe was a mistake. It doesn't really offer me that much killing the Maokai because he got fed. Uh, because I'm an idiot as well. So, like, my the rest of my builds can going to be Triforce and Bork. But obviously, just going getting like having a triforce or a blade of the ring king instead of this dust blade would be much much better right now for that so yeah and this game is not working as well but it does do a lot of damage it does do a lot of damage if i could make it work like if i'm ever if i ever find anybody alone um like a squishy target for example like against my team it'll be actually really good a squishy uh, a squishy victor janna ezreal like i could easily one burst these people so 
Yeah, it, it would work really well against my team. <laughs> Not so well against their team is basically the thing I think of right now. But, you know, you have to test these things, otherwise you're never going to know, right? Oh my god, I don't know if that was the smartest idea he's ever had. Oh no, because he's Rengar and broken. Yeah, actually getting away with that. Yo, it's 4v5, man. Okay, I killed someone though. Alright, I got the kid, actually. Okay, that's two. Now I have Last Whisper, like, I actually heard this guy. And Mortal Reminder as well, so... Alright, well, actually, I guess this build does work then. So, I should indicate he's dead already, but... Okay, well, actually, maybe what I just said about this build does not apply, because this is actually doing a lot of damage. Now I've got this Last Whisper, I'm really getting through tanks, so with Lethality on Dustblade, and it does do a lot for me, because it's a load of AD. It's AD and Arm Pen, which is good for me, I guess, really, and the true damage is like nice added on probably not the most optimal thing in the world but like we could just end the game dudes all right not anymore because everybody buggered off but we could have just ended this like gen we have a trindamir and every uh, rengar and stuff like we could have just ended this game see how now like oh my god no thank you yeah like, we legit would have just ended that game but never mind never mind i think we should probably just leave now if they go on this, I can't really get in because I got no um okay. I got no life still in this build at all. I have literally zero. And I got no ult. I can't get close if if, it, if he flashes on me, I'm dead, so I can poke with Q's every time it's up, but only 20% cooldown reduction as well. It's not a, not actually not a ton. Oh, that's warded! Feels bad man, feels bad man. Block it, block it, block it, block it, block it. He doesn't have his W though for a little while now, so I might be able to kill. Oh, sniped over the boot, over the wall. Oh, that feels bad. That's not good. We should have left though. That was really stupid. Why did he use his W? Use your Q, my friend. Never mind. Yeah, so I was just like playing with fire. We definitely should not have done that. That was really dumb. Very, 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 very dumb. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go for Triforce when I can afford it, but I can't afford it because I'm really poor at the moment. Well, I'm actually not poor, but you know. Yeah, I'm not actually not poor, but. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. I can't afford it. That's what I meant. Uh, life still would be probably quite important, but at the same time, I can probably just stay safe, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. I need 200 gold, though. They're actually going for Baron right now with Olaf, so there aren't many there. Okay, he didn't even press R. Oh, we didn't have R? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, never mind. Let's see. Let's see if I can do anything here. I mean, Olaf and... I don't think Olaf can, like, do that, honestly, but... Yeah, he ran there, so I thought he was doing it, but it turns out he wasn't, you know? Yo, I don't think us doing it is a good idea, though. I need, like, 14... Oh, I actually have my thing already. Do you really want to do this, though? He's going tank Rengar and he's still killing everybody. What in the world is that? Are you kidding me? Look at the heal! Well, I guess we found our Dustblade works kind of on Ezreal and tank Rengar is apparently ridiculous. He's not taking any damage. That's wrong, man. That's just wrong. That's 100% that's wrong. What have you done, right? What have you done? What have you done when Rengar can build two defensive items, two offensive items, kill everybody, and tank a freaking Baron and not lose his health? What is that? What is that? I told you, though, Fizz is going to be really good this patch. I did say that, and he's absolutely crapped on them. Okay, so this build looks absolutely, like, weird as anything right now, and it actually is pretty weird. But still, if I like, for team fighting, Dust Bay is not as good as like a Bloodthirster or, I don't know, whatever else you could buy, I guess. But like, for if I was ever 1v1 with, like, if someone ever face checked me or something like that, like, it'll be so, such a good item to have. And it's really good in the lane phase as well. So it's a like, much more aggressive early damage build. It's just a, oh, Malachi's behind us. Yo, you guys are blind. I'm not going anywhere near this, mate. No, thank you. Like, if he wants to go on someone else, sure, but I'm not going to let him go near me. Alright, now I'm getting stacked up, though. 
See, now I have all these items and Dust Blade Lethality is actually working really, really well. What is he doing? Hello? I do a lot of damage now. Holy crap, though. So does this Maokai. It's disgusting. Oh, wow. I didn't kill him. We can just end, I think. Ooh, that was close. So actually, it seems like this actually worked pretty well. Like we do so much damage and we do a lot to tanks with the lethality as well. So a bit of extra armor pin worked kind of well, but definitely not like, you know, out of this world. But I think part of that was just because the Maokai was absolutely insane. So that, that definitely made it a bit hard. Yo, I didn't even get an S. I did. I died five times actually, I suppose. But Janna got an S. Rengar. Victor, Victor went eight and nine and he got an S minus. What is this game? I got more CS than him. Unless he did more damage than me. Oh my God. Genuinely, I'm so tilted. All right, well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the, the video. I'm just gonna go and kill. I'm just gonna go and cry. I'm gonna go and cry. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode.